For several decades now, the AGM-114 missile has been terrorizing enemy targets since its development in the 70s by the U.S. Army. After several improvements, it's still causing destruction and has been adapted to suit the modern battlefield. Let's take a look at what makes this weapon just so lethal. The missile is the ultimate anti-armor weapon system and has been specifically designed to engage and annihilate enemy armored vehicles. Its later versions have been engineered for destroying precision drone strikes against various target types, particularly high-value targets. Its original use was to address the Army's requirement for a helicopter-launched anti-tank missile to counter Soviet armor formations. Now, the Hellfire is predominantly employed by the United States and its allies for unparalleled air-to-surface operations. With its world-leading multi-mission, multi-target precision strike capability, it can be launched effortlessly from a variety of air, sea, and ground platforms. Often deployed from helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. It has also been effectively utilized on surface platforms and has served in surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air roles. The complete system has been developed over the years to function as a fire-and-forget weapon system. The first phase of development of the Hellfire system began in 1974 in response to the U.S. Army's requirement for a highly effective tank buster missile that was to be launched from helicopters, specifically designed to defeat armored fighting vehicles. Operational testing for the first Hellfire missile started in the late 70s and production began in 1982. The AGM-114A variant got its operating capability sign-off with the U.S. Army in 1985, before entering service a year later. A later version of the missile was developed in the 90s with more additional features, given the designation Hellfire II. It became a modular missile system with several variants that first entered service with the U.S. Army in 1996. The newer system includes semi-active laser variants such as the AGM-114K High Explosive Anti-Tank version, AGM-114K2 with external blast fragmentation sleeve, AGM-114M with blast fragmentation capabilities, and AGM-114N with metal augmented charge. These variants achieve world-class accuracy by homing in on a reflected laser beam that is precisely aimed at the target. The U.S. Army also developed the AGM-114F in the early 1990s to counter new tank defenses. These defenses, known as reactive armor, explode on impact when hit by an anti-tank missile to disperse the lethal charge meant to get through the tank's defenses. The AGM-114F was the first Hellfire missile to have a tandem warhead, which has two charges, one to set off the reactive armor and a second to punch through the tank. Also during this time, the U.S. developed the AGM-114K. This was designed to improve lethality and operate better in a countermeasure or obscured environment. Later on during the decade, the AGM-114L was developed, which featured greater autonomy and precision strike capabilities. It was given the name Longbow Missile, and it uses a millimeter wave seeker instead of a semi-active laser, providing fire and forget capability and the ability to operate in poor weather conditions. Flight testing on this variation began in 1994, and it entered service in 1998. The Romeo variant of the missile was developed in the late 2000s to include the various mission sets of prior Hellfire models. Its multi-mission integrated blast frag sleeve warhead is designed for soft targets like small vehicles or unarmored vehicles, or hard targets such as armed vehicles, bunkers and bridges, radar and communications installations. The payload and systems of the Hellfire II are housed in a metal airframe featuring two sets of cruciform wings. The airframe has five modules consisting of a laser seeker, warhead, guidance section, propulsion, and control section. The Hellfire II missile has a length of 1.62 meters, a diameter of 17.7 centimeters, and a wingspan of 0.71 meters. The Hellfire II can lock onto targets before or after launch for increased platform survivability. The weapon can be used as an air-to-ground or an air-to-air -air missile. It gives the option of precision striking against tanks, structures, bunkers, and helicopters. The missile can be directed towards the target either from inside an aircraft or by lasers outside the aircraft. It is also highly adaptable. This has been helped by the extensive development of specialized launchers, 
avionics interfaces, and compatible targeting systems. For example, the General Atomics MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper UCAVs. But the most frequently utilized platforms for the missile include the AH-1Z Viper, AH-64 Apache, and S-70 Black Hawk helicopter gunships, each capable of accommodating up to 16 missiles in a single sortie. Equipped with a millimeter wave active radar homing system, it has the capability to operate without the need for further guidance post-launch. This lets it lock onto its designated target even after being deployed. On top of this, it has excellent performance in difficult weather conditions and even in challenging battlefield obscurance, like smoke and fog. This would ordinarily have the potential to obscure the target's position or hinder the formation of a detectable reflection for laser designation. The Hellfire is propelled by a single-stage, solid-propellant Thiokol TX-687 solid-fuel rocket motor. This can generate 10 Gs of initial thrust. The weapon has been used in a variety of environments. It saw its first major combat deployment during the first Gulf War. It was used in a significant way by U.S. Army Apache attack helicopters and OH-58D Kiowa Warrior Scout helicopters against Iraqi armored targets, bunkers, and fortified positions. This weapon played a significant role in disabling and destroying Iraqi armored vehicles, which contributed to the success of coalition forces. It was then utilized by NATO forces during the conflicts in the Balkans, especially in operations such as the Kosovo War and the Bosnian War. More recently, Hellfire has been used with unmanned aerial vehicles or drones, it has been used by the U.S. military and intelligence agencies in targeted drone strikes against terrorist organizations and high-profile individuals in regions such as Pakistan, Yemen, Syria, Afghanistan, and Somalia. Its accuracy and ability to take out key targets make it an effective tool for counterterrorism operations. One distinctive drone strike involved the use of a unique version of the AGM-114 R9X Ninja missile. This missile was used in the 2017 killing of Abu Qayyar al-Masri, a member of al-Qaeda's leadership. What do you think about the Hellfire missile? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.